you have a pre-purchase or if you're a member, you can get in that line over there. For Jetta and her keeper and all of our animals and keepers here. Pacific copper seals, on the other hand, are a lot smaller and have more of a cookie-to-cream look to their fur. 
They've got those tiny front flippers to help them steer, and the, those longer hind flippers to help them swim. But let's say you forget all those differences, and I'm not there to help. There is another trick you can use to help the spark. So, if you could please stick out your big front flippers again. Can you touch your ears? Hey, you can. You're a California sea lion. <laughs> California sea lions are the ones with those big front flippers and that little external ear flap. And up next, I need to bust out your tiny front flippers. Oh. All right, with your tiny front flippers, can you reach your ears? Oh. If you can't, you are a Pacific Harbor seal. Pacific Harbor seals are those ones with those little tiny front flippers and no external ear flaps. Just a little hole at the side of their head. But whether you have your flaps or not, healthcare is important. And as in any good community, our keepers and our animals work together to make sure that everyone stays healthy. And for these animals to stay happy and healthy, they need a lot of the same things that we do. They need a good diet, mental and physical exercise, and preventive and proactive medical care. During our daily sessions, <laughs> During our daily sessions, our animals learn signs and signals to get them into positions required for physical exams. Earlier you saw our harbor seal turn onto her back so that her teeth can get a good look at her belly. Uh, you saw Angela open her mouth really wide, there we go, so that her keeper can get a good look at her teeth. And even uh, blood draws. And the act of actively involving animals in their own health care is called husbandry. <laughs> so during these sessions, you'll notice that our keepers will ask our animals to perform a behavior, and if they do it correctly, they get something positive, something that they like. For our seals and sea lions, that's going to be like fish and shrimp. And that really motivates them to show up to these trainings and to participate. But if they ever don't feel like doing it, they don't have to. That's why sessions during the summer tend to be a little bit shorter, because they're just not eating as much. They're just not as hungry. <laughs> And if they ever do decide not to participate, whatever food they would have gotten during their training is just added to the rest of their diet later on. So I know that watch, oh, uh, let's get a big hand, a uh, big round of applause for our keepers and our animals one more time. Thank you for such an amazing job. And I know that watching our keepers interact with our animals was so cool. But it's important to remember that keepers are trained professionals that have worked with these animals to build up trust. I see it in there. So while it's really tempting to approach these animals in the wild and say hello, <laughs> there are some important things to know. Part of being a good community member means giving everybody their personal space. And since we can't ask these animals what they need, the Marine Mammal Protection Act establishes the guidelines to help us respect and appreciate these creatures. The act tells us that the animals would like for us to always stay at least 50 yards away. It's about the length from that back bench.